Hey guys, today I want to show you guys my bentonite clay rinse. I have it right here. So I'm going to show you exactly how I make this, then I'll put it on my hair and show you what that looks like. Here are the things you're going to need. So let's start with our three tablespoons of bentonite clay. Add that into the bowl. Next we have a half cup of warm aloe vera juice and a half teaspoon of honey. And lastly, two tablespoons of sweet almond oil. Okay, stir all of that together so it starts to combine. These plastic condiment bottles from Walmart are just perfect for this. So pour all of your mix in there and then we'll give it a good shake to get everything really mixed together. Make sure the cap is on really tight and then shake it up really good in order to smooth out all the lumps. I cut off the tip of my cap so that the clay is able to squeeze out really easily. You can see here it is super creamy and light. You can make this a day ahead of time and then just a few minutes before you start your wash day, let it sit in some hot water in your sink so that it can loosen up and be easy to squeeze just in case it's gotten a little bit thick. Okay, and this is what it looks like on my hair. I did apply it to wet hair in the shower to both my strands and to my scalp. You can see it is not at all thick or cakey. I can run my fingers really easily through my hair. It's staying nicely detangled. My curls are defined. And after this, I am going to just rinse it out. Then I'm gonna follow up with a cream shampoo. It is not at all hard to rinse out the clay because I didn't make mine super thick. Like you saw, it was really creamy and lightweight, so it washes out very easily. Okay, this is what my hair looks like after rinsing out the clay wash. So you can see my hair is still shiny, the curls are still defined, there is no clay residue in sight, my strands and my scalp are fully clean. Alright guys, that is my bentonite clay rinse. It works out perfectly for me. I do that about once a month for my strands as well as for my scalp so that they are clean and that's it. I mean that one time a month is super easy, the recipe is really easy and my hair comes out defined and moisturized because I have that sweet almond oil in there. It's not a thick hard bentonite clay. I've seen lots of other people use really thick clays and I don't really like that so I like mine to be a lightweight kind of mix. You can alter it, put in more aloe vera juice, you know, to make it more liquidy if that's what you want. So feel free to adjust the portions in there. But that is what I use and it just works perfectly for my hair. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.